Davies. Welcome back to the channel. Um, a couple of things. So yesterday, Miss Stevie went down to Tecumseh, Nebraska for the International Female Ride Day thing. They had like a, it, was, it had other stuff involved too, but they had like a, I don't know, a deal at the fairgrounds for it down there, right? So she went down there, she was a vendor, she took her Norwex, her and uh, Molly, you guys have seen Molly on the channel, she did a Fury Friday, but um, so I went down there yesterday and I recorded it um, but I wore a new helmet. I wore a new helmet because I had ceramic coated this one, my Shoei RF 1400 and I didn't, you know, I'd just gotten done with it so I wasn't gonna wasn't gonna go ride it with it so I thought oh, I'm gonna grab that new Bell Bullet it's a Harley Davidson version of the Bell Bullet so it's got Harley Davidson inside and out and all that stuff you know but man that helmet is so cool but I've heard the horror stories about it already so I put plug phones in hooked it up to my Senna you know <laughs> and it was still horribly loud in there and I even had the windshield on but that's another thing we're gonna get to in a little bit too uh, but uh, so she she said it was a great turnout down there. The only thing is is that it was at a fairgrounds, right? So um, Yeah, my bike is absolutely Covered in dust. I think maybe she should wash my bike when she gets back <laughs> Yeah, I probably ain't gonna do that so but I rode down there with the windshield on and You know it was it was all right. That windshield is too short But I did order a taller one I ordered a taller one from Long Ride Windshields, and it has a recurve at the top. So we are going to give that a try and see if that's any better. But you know, there's just something about taking the windshield off too, though. You know that I don't know. Just I don't know. I like it. I like it better. I like it more better. And I've gone on long rides with no windshield and liked it. So everything is kind of taken a back door to the events we've got going on. We've got Miss Stevie is going on the world record poker run uh, from Tampa, Florida up to Sturgis. They're doing 3,200 miles to break the poke to break the world record. That is sometimes 500 some miles a day for eight days straight, which there's some short days in there too. So I think that'll even itself out really well. But uh, Stevie Todd is also going on that. And let's see. Oh, uh, May 30th. We are having the Great Plains Moto Meet Ride. And we are meeting at Frontier Harley Davidson at 11 a.m. Frontier Harley Davidson will be closed. They don't open until noon on Saturday, on Sundays. And I honestly don't know if they're open that weekend or not I know they used to be but new owners you know uh, so we've got that going on Roll Tide 530 is coming uh, Red Beard Adventures from down in Oklahoma is coming Two Wheeled from up in South Dakota he said he's going to try to make it Blacktop Devil is coming and uh, Home Bees from Colorado they said they're coming but we will see <laughs> that's a long ways but they're not even part of the planes, but they're coming because they know how cool the planes are. So <laughs> I can't I can't even say that without laughing. <laughs> I'm still laughing about it. somebody from Colorado to think our roads are cool. <laughs> I know people from West Virginia think our roads are cool because they're straight. And they don't get to go straight over there in West Virginia apparently. But the ride that we're gonna take will take us from Frontier, Harley Davidson, and Lincoln, Nebraska to Nomads Bar and Grill in Nahaka, Nebraska. They uh, they are they are very happy. They're going to be they're going to host us for the end of this. And the food there is really good. But Stevie and I ate there last weekend, and the owners are awesome. So that will be a good time. And everybody is invited. Everybody's welcome. Doesn't matter what you ride, anything like that. So boots and jeans, Rich and Kate, come on down with your Hondas. If Rich, if Rich and Kate come, I will ride the Fury for the ride. Miss Steve, you'll have to carry my drone and all that stuff, but I will ride the Fury on that ride 
if Rich and Kate come. Oh, maybe Rich will ride this so that he can hear the. All right, grow up, grow up. So the Bell, the Bell bullet helmet that I got, that is a Harley helmet, I guess, but um, I didn't have anywhere to put my uh, my microphone for my moto vlog in it. <laughs> so, and the Senna really didn't want to go on there that bad. But um, the field of view in that helmet is absolutely amazing. I would say that the Shoei RF 1400 is just as wide from side to side, but from top to bottom, I mean, there is nothing comparing to that Bell Bullet. But the only thing that holds the visor down is a magnet. <laughs> so, she get plenty loud inside. It was plenty loud inside, and I had had earphones in. I hooked up to my Senna, and I was listening to music, which that worked out well. But it was still really, really loud inside that helmet. And I had the windshield on, so I could only imagine what it would be like without a windshield. Might be even a little bit better because there's so much buffeting with that windshield because it's too short. But I ordered a new one, okay? This one's a lot taller, so we'll see. Probably be too tall. And I'll cry about that. Because I'm a crier when it comes to putting a windshield on a bike. So, this Friday, this Fury Friday will be, we are going to go from front to back of the Fury. We're going to show you guys up close what we've done to it. And of course we'll do some riding with it because we're going to have to have some announcements, right? Because everybody loves all the announcements. We went to Cycle Gear and... Kurt up there at Cycle Gear who was very helpful. Miss Stevie got some rain gear. We're gonna have to do a video on that. I've got so much. I've got videos from our uh, our vacation that I still gotta make someday. Which I got a video that I gotta make from last year Labor Day when Rocky and Shelly and Amy and I went down to Eureka Springs too. So I don't know. But this River app is really really cool it will track your your route and then it will make the route for you and then you can uh semi semi cast it or whatever you can you can simulate it and it will show it will show it to you the physical map too which for nebraska is you know <laughs> just like this and i saw some from colorado up in the mountains and it's like this the little arrows going like this when it's going through the route but this one is like mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> we've got some hills but apparently rubber doesn't like them at all so but we do have some hills and you will see them out in the bohemian alps on the great plains moto meat ride when you all come everybody's coming all of you everybody's everybody's going it's gonna be a great time talked to Lily she said that she's gonna try to get a babysitter she's coming I don't know if you all know Lily she's been on the last two group rides that we've had and I don't know I haven't heard from Kelly Scott yet Kelly you better be coming and your wife Steph better show up there is no comparison between the two in every way well the field of view the bell wins and the feel of the interior bell wins that too but in every other category that you can think of the showy is better it's lighter it's shaped better it goes through the air way better but i still have a chrome shield coming for that bell and i'm still gonna wear it because of its awesomeness <laughs> it's like it's like the total which I look like a dweeb in it because I've got a goatee right now and <laughs> it's just it's, it's funny it's pretty funny but when I get the chrome shield it won't matter but moto vlogging that thing so what I did was I took one of my old centers my 30k's and I hooked my voice recorder up to that and then I bluetooth the two centers together it, it worked but the way that I had to put the microphone in the bell helmet was uh, a little bit overpowering, I think. Um, otherwise, it worked. I mean, 
you just couldn't understand what I was saying because the microphone was like in my mouth. Okay, it is windy out. The windshield made a huge difference as far as that goes. But I've got my bike set up for that. I've got the Lucky Dave seat on it. It holds me in place. Like literally holds me in place. Like the material on this seat. Like if you think you're just going to scoot up a couple inches in the seat without kind of standing up a little bit, you're wrong. Because you're going to slide forward and your pants aren't going to move. Which means they're going somewhere else. Man, I've been jumping all over the place subject to subject and I'm pretty sure that I just stopped in the middle of a subject back there a little bit ago and I completely forgot what it was, so that's making the video. I was just gonna say stuff that I've said a thousand times. <laughs> so I stopped myself. So the voice recorder has gone pretty well, if you guys want to know the update on that. I think other than that, I'm just going to enjoy this nice morning ride, go get some breakfast, and head on home. So, everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool, and we will see you on the road. And I will speed up here in just a second. I know for sure that this is not a pony's man. It is not.